you made the comment, I think it might have been earlier this week, we were talking about the practice lines or the lines through camp. Sharon Govich for a while was on that top uh, right side yep. with Lindholm and Huberdo, and then it flopped to Manjapani, and then more, more recently Dylan Dubé got that start. Last night, as things started to go into the blender a little bit, Haskell looking for a little bit of something, uh, Manjapani goes back up to the top to the top line and made some things happen. It's a great Delivers. play. Uh, terrific play on the, the game-winning goal for uh, for Lindholm. He gets the empty netter, scores on the power play. The second power play unit gets the opening goal of the game. Uh, and you had said, is is that great that we've seen guys auditioning? I, I wonder, it feels like, go ahead, Andrew, have, have a bounce back year, get those numbers back, and there's no better opportunity for that than playing with those two guys. I don't mind that. I mean it's two things, right? It's some guys not doing enough to stay on the top line. Yeah. And it's on Japan. doing better to stay, to get up there. Right? Like I don't like in the first game or through, through training camp that they're monkeying with the lines too much, but it happens. And I, I guess the point I'm trying to get to is I don't think Sharon Govich and Kadri have stood out enough. And that's, I think if you want this team to be, have that depth that we believe we have, they have to be better. And yeah, that was sure the thing too, because we said yes, no, sorry, I jumped. I, we, hey, hey, Nazem, here's Sharon Govich and here's Coronado. Uh, new guys. Congrats. You, you get some of the new guys. So, okay, okay, we'll, guy, we'll make those though. work. He is a veteran guy. I, I think we'll probably end up talking about Sharon Govich and not to get on the guy after one game, but he's probably as, you know, he was on the penalty kill, made some plays. I didn't see him a whole lot in the offensive zone. I want to ask you about Coronado, though. Nearly scores. It was 10 minutes oh, in. And on the back door, almost had his first. Oh, had his man. first goal. 2200, I would have been dancing. Plus 2200. Plus 2200 if yeah. he tucks that one in. And it looks yeah. like he kind of short-sided it a bit. He caught the post. Oh, Adam. He, uh, he's going to be just fine. Yeah. He's around it. Looks comfortable. Good and showing. We talked about the rotation on the top line. Like, I, I still think if Lindholm and Huberto are going to be a good fit together, it almost doesn't really matter who's there. I'm just not sure that they are a great fit at this point yet. But if they're going to keep swinging guys through, why not at some point give Coronado a look? The only thing I worry about with Manjapani there is I, I really like the idea of someone that can fly on that opposite wing of Huberto. And, and not that Manjapani can't, Manjapani can't skate, but you knew that you know, with Dubé there or Sharon Govich there, you could say, ah, yes, the speed quotient's real there. Would you give Coronado a shot there at some point? I, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. I think they're going to use everybody there yeah. because... It's their only right shot, like Dewar yeah. and him, to play yeah. the wing. I think he'll get a chance up there, and if he can make it work, but I think what you said is more important. Can Lindholm and Huberto make yeah. it work? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.